Okay, here we have this carrier mini split. I kind of wanted to demonstrate how the uh, fan control works on this thing. Now this is the outdoor fan, the condenser fan, that is it's set up for operating at low outdoor ambient. Anything below about 70 degrees. So it has a control on it. Well the control is simply a pressure switch. And the pressure switch turns on the outdoor fan when the pressure gets to a certain point, this one's about 235, and it shuts off again when it hits about 200. Now this is an R22 machine, and it's also a fixed orifice device, expansion device. So I want to kind of show you how this machine reacts. This is probably the simplest type of head pressure control out there. Remember, head pressure control is being used in low ambient to keep the head pressure high enough for the machine to work. Because the head pressure gets too low, it won't work. So let's see what's happening. In a second, you're going to hear this fan come on and then shut off again. Okay, I froze the frame there so I can explain what's happening. The head pressure goes up when the fan is off, and that increases the pressure difference between the high side and the low side, so the superheat goes down. As the fan runs, the head pressure drops. When the head pressure drops, in this case about to 200 pounds, it's 235 uh, to 200 pounds, then that 200 pounds is lower difference between the high side and the low side, so the superheat increases. So you'll be able to watch this thing, and you can see the superheat move up and down with the head pressure. Now it's not directly related because there's some kind of lag there, but you'll see it does it. And I'll run this thing slow so you can actually watch it a little uh, more effectively. Okay, the fan is just shut off. Now we're 8.2 on our superheat. It's gone up a little bit because the head pressure is quite low. Now it's going to start rising because the fan's not running. Now you notice we are above 10 now, and it's still rising. Remember the super heat's going to rise because the head pressure is low compared to the suction pressure. Now we're running this at about a quarter speed, so it's going to be pretty slow. Now, head pressure is going up. That, of course, is also going to increase the suction pressure. We're still about 10.5. Now, the head pressure is going up, so it's going to start dropping that superheat. Uh, head pressure is going to uh, start the fan pretty soon. It gets to about 235 and start. Okay, it's coming down because the fan's on. Now it's going to have some lag here because that higher head pressure is going to continue to push refrigerant through for a while and the superheat is going to continue to go down. Now we're back to where we should start the fan again. Superheat's about 
Now you can see that kind of lag we have there. We're up to 11. And we've been as low as 8.4. So what happens with these things is the superheat changes as the fan cycles on and off because of the pressure difference. This is kind of an issue. This one's not too bad because it's got a 35 degree or a 35 pound pressure difference. Most of these things are set for about 75 pounds and it's a lot worse. But you can see our super heat is varying a lot. Now understand, I'm using sensors to test it. The sensors have some lag in them and they're not as accurate as if you used your fingers. But you can see the variation in the superheat because of that variation in the head pressure compared to the suction pressure. I should note here, I do not have uh, some cool uh, pro hooked up, so it's not affecting. So just watch this thing and you'll kind of see what happens in that very superheat as the fan goes on and off. Okay, I hope this makes sense. I don't think this is the best way to control head pressure because of that very head pressure compared to suction pressure, especially when you use the fixed orifice device. But that's how a lot of these things are set up. There are a number of different head pressure controls that work far better, but this is fairly common because it's probably the cheapest one out there. Anyway, that's it on this one.